Hi, I'm Anne Mwawodo. Here's your channel's TV morning news update for June the 15th, 2019. The chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, has promised to ensure the implementation of the European Union Election Observation Group's recommendations on the 2019 general elections. Speaking in Abuja shortly after receiving the EU officials, Professor Yakubu said the European Union has been part of Nigeria's steady progress towards democratic consolidation since 1999. The EU Election Observation Group says it has compiled its report and findings on the 2019 elections and is ready to present it to INEC. In Lagos State, Governor Babajide Sawolu has announced a 100% increase in the allowances of officials of the Lagos Traffic Management Authority, LASMA. In addition to the significant pay rise, the governor also warned that anyone apprehended by LASMA for any traffic offence will be made to face the full wrath of the law at the point of crime. The governor said this at a meeting with LASMA officials working in the Oshodi area of the state. Continuing with traffic management, the federal government has announced the extension of the deadline given to the presidential task force to decongest the port city of Apapa in Lagos till June the 24th. Members of the task force had requested an extension of the exercise following the serious delays experienced in the execution. The task force commenced the evacuation of trucks from the area on May the 24th and was initially built to finish up the task on June the 7th. Meanwhile, former military head of state General Yakubu Gowan has said that Nigeria's education sector remains plagued with infrastructure and human resource challenges. General Gowan, who spoke at the 35th Convocation Lecture of Bayoro University, Kano, is concerned about the rising number of Nigerian universities and warns that they may not be able to get much needed funds. And on the international scene, the U.S. military has released the video which it says shows Iranian special forces removing an unexploded mine from the side of an oil tanker damaged in an attack in the Gulf of Oman on Thursday. The U.S. also released images of the Japanese tanker apparently showing the unexploded mine before it was removed. The U.S. accuses Iran of being behind the attacks, an accusation Tehran has denied. And that's the morning news update. Don't forget to join us later today for the evening news recap. I'm Anne Wawadu. Thank you very much.